Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a very interesting pre-World War I broom handle contract. And this is uh, one of a thousand guns that was made for Persia in about 1909 to 1910. These guns were taken out of just standard commercial production, and they are very standard commercial uh, small ring hammer broom handles. Uh, as, as far as features go on them, they're no different than any other commercial gun made at the time. But there are a few markings that are important to know, and also they all only fall in a 1,000 gun serial number range. Uh, so if you see one outside that serial number range, you should automatically be pretty suspicious of it. And that serial number range is going to be in the 154,000 serial number range. And as you can see, this one is one of those guns. And uh, they are faked, so you should be cautious of that if you're looking to buy one. If it's not in that serial number range, be very, very careful. Because Mauser essentially just took uh, gun 154,000 through 154,999 and said, these will go, will go to Persia, there's your thousand guns. Um, so the first thing that we'll look at is just the standard markings. This has the standard Crown U proof. You have a Persian lion right there. It's a very small stamp, but that is going to be in front of the rear tangent sight on the left side. And then the biggest tell on these, of course, is the Persian lion stamp on the left side as well. As you can see, that's a pretty intricate, pretty detailed, uh, well done design. And it just uh, goes to show that Mauser took these pretty seriously when they, when they did them. So that's what you're going to look for on one of these. And if you see one with those things and it falls in the serial number range, you can be uh, very sure that you're looking at an original gun. These are pretty unusual to find. There's not a lot floating around. Obviously only a thousand made. Went to Persia. They they got used and not all that many came back. Otherwise, very standard gun. You've got your regular grips as always. Your standard front sight. This one is a little bit unusual in that the underside of the barrel here actually has British proofs so at some point it did go to the UK and uh, it's got I believe those are yeah it's Birmingham proofs so this gun was a German gun that went to Persia and then ended up in the UK at some point I'm not really sure how it's just one of those things that you just can wonder about also it has a standard tangent rear sight marked out to a thousand meters your short extractor and your standard chamber markings there the rear of the gun same as any other broom handle from this time period small ring hammer your typical serial numbers and the last three repeated on the hammer and the other side just has your standard Mauser markings and really nothing else special about the gun. A lot of times these are actually confused with an earlier broom handle contract and that was also for a thousand guns that actually went to Turkey. The difference is between the two contracts is that the Turkish guns were actually cone hammers and they were made about 1898 and they were also for a thousand guns in their own serial number range and uh, other than being cone hammers and obviously a much earlier gun and different than these they had a rear tangent sight that was actually marked in uh, Arabic as opposed to being a standard tangent rear sight so just a, a broom handle contract you don't see very often and uh, the one like like I said that is faked so always be careful again that serial number range is going to be in the 154,000 serial number range 
pretty much exclusively. So be very, very cautious of guns outside that range. Remember your stamp here and remember to always find your stamp here. So if you do a little bit of due diligence and remember those things and you're looking to buy one of these, uh, that's kind of what you're going to look out for. And uh, good luck if you're looking for one. And uh, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this. We'll be doing more videos on all kinds of firearms in the upcoming days and weeks, hopefully. And if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, drop a comment. And as always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.